G'day everyone, welcome to Hawk's Kitchen. My name's Andrew and today we're making a whiskey highball. I like to call it a Mizuwari, not quite the exact same thing, but it's still delicious. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking a nice floral, very fragrant whiskey and we're gonna be mixing it just with soda water, a few herbs and ice. Simple as anything and you're gonna love it, I promise you. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our herbs. What I've got here is I've got some thyme and some rosemary and we're just going to season the glass. So what that means is we're just gonna rub the inside of the glass with our herbs and what that's going to do is it's going to force the oils to come out of the herb a little bit and it's just going to coat to the inside of that glass. Already it smells pretty damn good. So how we're going to start is we're going to get one big ice cube and we're going to drop it in a highball glass. We're going to take our whiskey and we're going to put 15 mils in. So that's the small side of your little cocktail measuring glass. Pour that directly on top of the ice. We're going to give it a quick stir. Don't try and over mix it because that will start to dilute a little bit too much and then you won't get sort of the taste that you're looking for. And the taste that you're looking for is you want to taste the whiskey still, you want to appreciate the whiskey, but what this ice water and herbs does is it opens everything up and it gives you that that experience that you don't quite get from when you have it in just say like a whiskey tumbler or something. It's it's quite different. And this is actually how the Suntory, um, the guy who runs Suntory, I'm not sure if he's the guy who runs Suntory, but he's a representative. He said this is actually his favorite way to drink this sort of whiskey. So if it's good enough for him, good enough for you. So we're gonna go another 15 mils. So basically the formula is 15 mils per ice cube that you add in. So another 15 mils in. Give it another quick stir. And last ice cube, and another 15 mils. So now that we're done with that, I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. At this point, I'm going to put what I had in the beginning and I'm going to stick it in the glass because since it's a very floral whiskey, what I want is I want the herbs to sort of come through and to speak with the whiskey and the whiskey is very light and it's delicate and this sort of herby accompaniment like this, um, this garnish I guess is it really helps you appreciate what this whiskey is trying to tell you. And at the very end, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of soda water just to make it a little highball here. And we're going to just sort of jig it up and down just so we get the whiskey from the bottom up to the top. Now this, this is probably making old Suntory mate roll over when he's looking at me destroying what he thinks is probably beautiful whiskey, but I love it like this. I think this is the perfect way to go about making, taking something that's light and delicate and fresh like this nice whiskey and adding to it, adding a woody, peppery, almost umami-like vibe to it. And I'll give it a try now and I'll let you know how it is. I can already tell you straight up, it smells fantastic. It smells, it smells sweet because what this herb does is it, it overpowers what would normally happen with the whiskey and it lets you appreciate other factors of it. So what we're doing now is we're going to try and get some of this sweetness out. Oh man, that's so good. That's so good. The aeration from that soda water has just lifted that whiskey up completely. It's so light and fresh and it's perfect for summer. This is excellent. And you can do it pretty much anywhere. You can use it any scotch, any whiskey, and you can use it yourself, but it's better to use a light, delicate one like the one that I've got here. Mm. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You won't get any better, I promise you. Far out. 